Hello, welcome to TNL World of Love. I pray all is well with everyone on this beautiful Wednesday. And it's beautiful because he woke you up this morning. And you need to give him all the glory, all the praises for waking you up this morning because somebody wasn't able to get up. Somebody didn't make it this morning, but you made it this morning. So give him the praise and tell him to cover you with his precious blood from the crown of your head to the um, sole of your feet and guide you in the right direction. And whatever is blocking you from getting close to him, pray that he remove it out your way. Move that stumbling block. Move it out your way so that you can walk right with Christ. But this morning, I want to tell y'all that yesterday I, I was like down. I let something bring me down and bring me out my character. And that was not me. And it's like, I'm walking with Christ, I'm obeying, I'm doing everything. But it seemed like it, everything just come and hit me from the left, from the right, trying to knock me down. And it's hurt, it, it's a hurt, hurting feeling when you know you're trying to do right by Christ and you're doing right for, by people. And that enemy will always try to find a way to come attack you. And try to bring you down and bring you out your character. And have you thinking when I was out there in the world, it wasn't none of these problems right here, what I'm going through. But now that I'm serving the Lord, it seems like everything want to come my way to knock me down. And this morning I got up because last night I couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep because what happened yesterday was on my mind. And this morning when I got up, I got up like 12, 30 this morning because I couldn't sleep and it was just bothering me. And it was bothering me because how people lie on you. And I say, Lord, no matter what, I'm telling the truth. And in the end, I'm still like the bad person. I'm still like the person they still blaming. And I went in my closet, I prayed, and the Lord took me to Matthew 5, 44, chapter 5, verse 44. Love your enemies. Pray for those who try to prosecute you. Or those who try to, who trying to hurt you. And as I began to read, I started feeling better. That pain just started going away because I had to remember where my help come from. And I had to remember no matter what situation I go through, he going to be there to protect me because I serve an awesome God. Then I had to think about Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not onto your own understanding. I had to think about that too. And when you're walking with Christ, it's, this is not an easy walk. This seems like, it, 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 this when the walk is hard. It's very hard when you're walking with Christ because everything starts coming at you. Everything. And it seems like you just sometimes you want to fall and you want to give up, but you can't fall. You can't give up. You got to keep on going. And that's what I had to remember this morning. I got to keep on going no matter what come my way, whatever situation I might be in, I still got to keep on. And this morning when, when I was praying and I had to say, Father, I thank you. Even though I'm going through this situation, Father, I thank you. And I know this is a test. This is a test that I'm just going through. And I got to stand still and I got to go through this test no matter what. No matter how many tears I drop. Because all these tears that I'm dropping, them tears of joy that you catching. And I know he's not going to put too much on me that I can't handle. I just got to keep leaning on my faith and I got to keep walking with him. And no matter what situation... I still got to say, Lord, I thank you. And I'm still going to serve you. I'm still going to keep walking with you no matter what I'm going through. And that's what I got to keep doing no matter what come my way at home on my job. Father, I, I thank you. I'm still going to walk with you no matter what. I'm not going to turn my bike on you. 
because you never turned your bike on me. Never. No matter what situation I was in, you was always there. And I wanted to tell somebody this morning, no matter what you going through, just thank him. Thank him. And give it to him and go head on. Only thing we can do is, Father, I thank you and I'm giving it to you. And let it go. Let it go. Because see those same enemies who trying to attack you, God will make them same enemies your footstool. Them same enemies that get you to where, where, where he wants you to go at. Them same enemies will help you. And when them enemies think they hurt you, they got to remember you serve an awesome God. An awesome God. We just got to keep our faith and we just got to keep walking and keep praising him no matter what the situation is. So I'm telling somebody this morning, whatever somebody, whatever somebody trying to do to you, don't fall down. Don't fall down because God see everything that you going through, everything. And he's going to help you. He's going to help you through everything that you're going through. Even when them enemies think that they hurting you. God going to be right there to help you through it. He going to be there to help you through anything, anything. You just got to trust and lean on him. And you got to keep walking with him. And you got to keep your faith no matter what the situation might be. Keep your faith and keep your eyes on the prize. That's what you got to do. Keep your eyes on the prize and don't look back. Somebody did something to you yesterday, don't dwell on it. Let it go. Let it go. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Because God will take care of that person. God will take care of that person. So you just keep on moving and you keep your head up high and you walk. That's what you got to do. You got to walk with your head up high and don't let nobody feel that they're getting the best of you. And they hurting you. Because that's what people like to do. They want to try to hurt you and then you sit back and you be crying and they sitting there laughing at you because they say, oh, I don't broke them down. But when you serve an awesome God, you don't have to worry about that. You just put everything in God's hand and let God take care of it. That's what you have to do. Let God take care of it and don't stoop to their level. Don't stoop to their level. That's what they want. They want you to stoop to their level and be around him mad. Looking all crazy. And they sit back laughing at you because they feel they got the best of you. So anybody that's going through something this morning, going through it at home, on that job, or wherever, just give it to God. Pray about it and give it to him and keep it moving and hold that head up high and keep on walking. And let him fight that battle for you. Because sometimes you have to pick and choose what battles you want to fight. So whatever it is, just sit back and give it to him and let him fight those battles for you. Let him fight those battles. And just keep walking with Christ. Just keep Christ ahead of your life. And everything will be all right. And when that person think that you hurting, you ain't hurting because you know who, what, you, know who you serve. You know where your help come from. And when you keep smiling, keep holding your head up high, they'll be looking at you crazy like, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? So I'm telling somebody who going through anything today, give it to God. Give it to him. And he'll work everything out. He'll start working things out, and you will be surprised the things that he'll start doing. He'll move them out your life. or They're going to help you. The same people will help you elevate you to where you need to be at so i'm telling anybody this morning hold your head up keep your faith keep christ ahead of your life and keep walking with him no matter what the situation is no matter don't let it beat you down i pray that everyone have a blessed day hit that like button and subscribe to t and l world of love bye